Transform your health with these nutrition hacks. Are you wondering what you can do to move the needle with your health and your nutrition? Listen in, I'm going to share with you three hacks and a bonus one. And if you do this, it'll make a difference in your health and nutrition. This video is for you if you are a woman over 40. I am Robin, a nutritionist, and I help women over 40 meet their nutrition needs. And I also help you mitigate symptoms and concerns related to the pause. And when I say pause, that's perimenopause, menopause, and beyond. All right, let's get into it in no particular order. Well, actually, this is in a particular order. The first hack is this is the order I recommend that you eat your food. It makes such a difference. So how you eat your food. Now, if you drink water, you're even doing better. If you drink water before you eat, that'll help you even more. But let's say you don't. Here are the order that, here's the order you wanna eat your food. So if you have your plate, first you wanna eat your vegetables. So that means you wanna make sure you have vegetables on your plate. Eat your vegetables first. That is powerful nutrients in your body. You wanna make sure you get that in. Second, you're going to eat your protein. So if that is your chicken, your fish, your tofu, you're going to eat your protein second. And last, you'll eat your carbohydrates. So that might be your potatoes, your rice, your bread. Because normally, we'll eat the bread or the carbs first, and that'll fill us up. And then we won't necessarily get all the rest of our food in. So we're going to reverse that. Vegetables first, protein and then your carbs. And your question is, well, what if I'm eating a taco? Or what if I'm eating a meal that is all mushed in together? In that case, you're gonna do the best you can. In that case, I say, if you're having a meal that's all intertwined, then that day you start off with your water first. So if let's say you're having spaghetti and your, your pasta and your meat and your sauce and all of the tomatoes, it's all mis mixed up together, start off with your water first. All right. That's hack number one. That will help you not eat as much. That will help you not eat as much. And that helps us ultimately with our weight. All right. So that's the first hack. The second hack is whenever you eat, muy, muy important, very important. Whenever you eat a carbohydrate, you want to have a protein source and or a fat. Let me explain. So protein, be your chicken, fish, your turkey, your tofu, protein, your carbs, your rice, your potatoes, your pastas, your starch, carbohydrates, protein. When you do not have a protein source with your carb, it's going to, or it's quicker to turn into sugar and store as fat in your body. It's quicker to get your blood sugar off balance when you have that carb without the protein when you have them combined the protein is a buffer for the carbs so it slows it down so that it doesn't raise your blood sugar as fast as women over 40 we have to be very intentional about how we manage our blood sugar so when you have a carb you want to have a protein and i said and or a fat so for whatever reason if you can't get the protein source and if you had like an avocado that would be good or a nut butter that is a fat source but rule of thumb if you're having a carb you're going to have that protein it's going to make a world of difference in your health even if and this might sound crazy to you guys but even if you have a dessert if you have a cinnamon roll or some peach cobbler preceding that if you have protein, and I know this sounds crazy, but let's say you had a chicken breast, chicken breast, before you had your pie, it's going to help how that pie gets digested and manages in your body. I know it sounds crazy, but I love fun foods and I just make sure it's something simple that I do. So, and I don't do this all the time, but this is, I'm keeping it real. Sometimes I want three Oreo cookies, three Oreo cookies. So before the Oreo cookies, I'll have a protein shake, just protein in the water or almond milk, get that in my system because I got the protein in there. And then I'll have my cookies. And that cookie, the effect of what the cookie would have, cookies would have on my body is different because I have the protein. I promise you this is true. I've tried this. I've been working with 
women for 16 years and I used to be pre-diabetic, overweight, and I know this works. Mm -hmm. As I'm saying that, I'm going to share with you the third hack and then the bonus, bonus one. I help, as I said, women over 40 with their nutrition. In the down bar, there's going to give you, there's a class that you can take actually of what to eat and what to do for your nutrition and for pause symptoms. I'm going to put that in there, but also I have a whole community. And the first thing you get as a member of the community is a full on nutrition plan with all of this balanced out for you. So take a look at that in the down bar. Okay. So the third hack, the third hack, something that I recommend and that I do, you can do it in two ways. Do a monthly fast, three days, one day at the least. It's one way. Set a time where you just drink water. Now you may not be ready for that. That may be hardcore going two or three days without food, just water. That might be my point. So another option is to do what I call is the shred. And this is, I lead my, uh, the membership community in this once a month. And during the shred for 10 days, you can do this on your own, for 10 days, we remove the foods that don't serve us, one of which is sugar. There's a whole protocol, but one of them is sugar. So for 10 days, we are going easy on sugar and we're making sure that we're flooding our bodies with, with what it needs. So we're giving that our bodies a 10 day pause, a pause so that we're giving our bodies what we need and we're not eating the foods that don't serve us for 10 days. So you can do one or two things. They both work very well. You can fast. So set a time a month where you just water yourself up and get that out. But if that's too, too much, then consider doing 10 days. And even maybe that's too much, but a series of days, we do 10, a series of days where you're not eating any sugar and you're pulling back on the foods that don't serve you. Some of us that's dairy, some of us that's gluten, it depends. But we do that every month as a reset. And that helps me keep my weight down. That helps me keep my body balanced. And I know it can help you too. So those are the three hacks and I have a bonus hack right? Bonus hacks. So number one, the order you eat your food. Number two, having your protein and carbohydrates always together. So if you're going to have a carb and have a protein, the third one is to do a fast once a month or a shred where you're giving your body a reset. Those are the three hacks. And then the bonus one is look at your friends, look at your friends, your family, whoever you hang out with, get yourself a healthy try because if you're wanting to go on a healthy journey and the five people that you hang around with, the five people that you eat with are not going in the direction that you are going, it is going to derail you so much. So my recommendation, number four, is to look at your friends and get you a healthy tribe. I would love to be a part of your healthy tribe. So I'm here on YouTube. You can always connect with me here or you can go deeper and join me inside of the Necessary Nutrition Membership Community. There are going to be the details down below. I think that's it. Oh, I got to say it as a YouTuber. I want you to like this video if, it, if you like it. Comment if you have something to say. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can get the notification that the videos are coming. And I think that is it. Eat well, think well, and be well. This is Robin, Necessary Nutrition. Until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye.